This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. Today we're going to go ahead and test 10 gig networking over for Cat 5e. But not only are we testing it, we're going to test it on old equipment. When I say old equipment, we're talking about equipment from 2011 to 2013. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I think you're going to be surprised on the performance. And let's get going. <music> Okay, so we're going to test the speed of 10, 10 gigabit over 5 cat, cat 5e, and we're going to be testing it with a true NAS server, a Linux box, a Windows box, and a Proxmox box. So I definitely have just RJ25. Um, I don't have any uh, SFP cables or switches in my, syst uh, in my system anywhere. Um, it's all RJ25. This is what I'm using for my uh, switch. I've got two of these. They're, they're 8 port. TP-Link's uh, 10 gigabit switches. They do have a smaller brother right here. I don't use that one, but I just thought I'd throw that up. Um, I buy most of my equipment used from eBay, so I'm using an ASUS 10 gigabit card. I'm also using two Dell 10 gigabit cards. And then I don't have the other one. I'm using a broadband uh, 10 gig card as well on my Windows box. So, and I just threw this up here because you can get these for $92 brand new on eBay. You can get them anywhere from 30, if you're lucky, $30 to $50. Okay, so I'm using both my, I have two, I have two of these Z440s, one for Windows, one for Linux. Um, the Windows one is my, more or less my test machine, my desktop, my desktop I use is Linux. Um, but, so it's built on the x99 platform. Both of them have uh, NVMe drives on them, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, 2690v3. Um, but this is what I'm using uh, to do my to do my tests between my servers. Okay, so uh, this server here is an HP Z420. Um, I've got TrueNAS on it. Um, it's got the five bay enclosure, but it actually has three more hard drives in the case itself. So it's got eight uh, eight eight gigabit hard drives in there um, even though it says six terabyte six terabyte or not gigabit so excuse me it's got eight six terabyte hard drives in this server um, even though it says different on this on the uh, screen here this is a slide that I used for another presentation um, anyway and it's got six hundred and twenty eight gigs of RAM not sixty four um, and and that's my uh, that's my TrueNAS file server, uh, 60 terabytes. Um, now, this is very important because this is where you get performance. There's two ways to get uh, 10 gigabit performance to a server. One is you have an NVMe drive that can cache those files as they come over. The other is you can get, um, so my drives are eight terabyte, 12 gigabit SAS drives. So the pass-through on them is very fast and efficient. And my controller also is uh, a 12 gigabit LSI controller uh, in my server. So this is very important because I am not using an NVMe cache drive in my TrueNAS server. And you're, I think you're going to be impressed on the performance of that server when I copy files over. Okay, so my Proxmox server... It's a dual processor. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got 32 cores, 64 uh, threads. Um, I put all my programs on a uh, NVMe drive. Programs and OSs. Uh, the 10 gig card in here is the Dell uh, 10 gig network card. Um, so let's go ahead. I just wanted to show you the equipment real quick, so you know what I'm dealing with. Um, I don't have brand new equipment. A lot of this equipment is 10, 8 years old because um, most of these systems that I'm using came out in 2011, 2013. Um, so we get to the desktop and start testing. I just want to let you know that I've made several videos of some of these slides that you've been seeing from. One of them I have affordable net, uh, 10 gig networking. Another one is on that HP system for gaming. Uh, the other one's on, the, on this Proxmox server and on the uh, TrueNAS file server. I'll have links down below. 
where you can uh, go ahead and, and check those links out as well. But let's go ahead and let's jump on the desktop and let's get started. Okay, I'm on my Linux desktop. Over here is a uh, movie file. It's 32 gigs. We're going to drop that onto my files. Um, on the right, excuse me, on the right is my uh, is where my uh, movie file is that's on my desktop. We're going to drop that over here across to the left onto my server. In the middle is a uh, graph that shows, and then unfortunately this graph, um, it's particularly probably because I'm running in 4K, uh, you can't you, you can't see this very well, but um, normally with a one gig card you're going to get 120 megabyte transfer rate. We should with a 10 gig card get at least a, a gig transfer rate. So let's drop that over here. It'll take a minute for the graph to show up and see how much speed we're here. We are. See, it's cruising along. This is 32 gigabytes, and it's uh, it's over one it's over one gig right now. It's 1.9, 1.8. Okay, don't ask me why I get some of these speeds, especially when I, when I fire up, when I first drag it onto my file server. It'll drop down a little bit, but it'll stay right around that uh, 10 gigabyte speed. And so it's awesome. And again, I'm running this over Cat 5e and about 50, 60 feet uh, to my server room. And so um, very efficient. It's just very, very usable at this point. Um, so now what we're going to do okay so let's go ahead and take that same file and we'll just copy that from my file server to my Linux desktop and let's uh, check out the results there and just a sec here it's gonna give us what we're getting here we're getting close to uh, high 700 megs per second almost 800 megs per second and it's not quite as fast as it is going to the server but it's but it's just about there and so I have noticed that sometimes when I copy these big files over uh, to my desktop, it may slow down a little bit towards the end. I don't know if the N NVMe drive, the way it has to shuffle memory around, uh, slows that down a little bit. And it hasn't gotten to, so now we're down into the high 600 megabytes per second. Um, but again, five, uh, Cat 5e, I'm um, running 50 to 60 feet with this right here. Um, it's great. It works awesome. Okay, now I'm over on my Proxmox server. I'm accessing my Proxmox server through a, a program called No Machine. It's available on Windows and Linux. Um, and so um, this is another Linux desktop here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the same file over to my desktop. And again, it's on, uh, like I discussed earlier, my Proxmox server is, uh, my program's running on an NV NVMe. And again, it's going to get, uh, should get around 800 to 700 megabytes per second. And we're down, we're in the, in the 600 megabytes right now. But it fluctuates between uh, the mid 600 to 700 megabytes per second. So yeah, no, I'm not getting exactly uh, 10 gigabytes, but hey, I'm fine with that. And believe me, once I put this, this uh, card in my Proxmox server, um, it, my Proxmox server just... Uh, performance was way up, especially on my Plex. This is uh, actually the operating system I run my Plex on. Is this uh, Linux? This is a uh, this Linux desktop. And so, um, anyway, my point is, is that again, and I get about the same speed, uh, more uh, around 700 megabytes when I copy from here to the file server as well. Uh, just to save time, we won't do that because just so you know, it's about the same. I was skeptical. I'd seen some people use a Cat 5e before, and so um, I was a little skeptical. Sometimes it worked right, sometimes it didn't. Um, and in fact, let's go uh, onto the Windows desktop now. Okay, I'm on my Windows desktop, so let's just go ahead and, and copy the same uh, movie over. On Linux, it said it was 32 gigs. Here it says it's 30. I don't know why the difference is. And uh, we're getting pretty good performance here. Um, now I don't know, you know, I am using a different card here. I'm using a broadband, and I don't know if that's what's making the difference. But it's still, it's still really decent. It's, it's still hovering, and you could probably say it's averaging 600 megs per second, and that's really good. And so um, I'm very happy with my performance. Why this is finishing up? By the way, I do run a Windows desk, a Windows um, VM on my Linux desktop. There's only one program I use for that, and 
that VM does not unfortunately have a driver for a 10 gigabit card, but I still get about three or 400 megabyte transfer rate, even though it's um, so it's one one gig one gig driver. Anyway, so that's pretty quick. So my whole point is again, five, Cat 5e, you can have great performance depending on your hardware. Sometimes you're going to see a, a total 10 gig. Sometimes you might see see anywhere between six and 800 gig gigs it just depends okay now that we've run that window example and like I said eh, your your 10 gigabit performance is all going to be about the hardware that you have one one computer may uh, copy that faster than another computer it just depends on the hardware um, and so but as you can see it's very viable very easy works great I'm very happy with my uh, 10 gig performance um, this is TG with Tech Made Easy. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks. Now that was easy.